Queen, it's your girl Shewa here and I'm back with another video and today it is discussions with Shewa and today I am going to be discussing with you guys something that is very very important I feel like it's not getting enough buzz as it should and this is a new social media law or not a new social media bill and I just heard that it passed a second reading in the Senate so there's a high possibility that it might become a law so I went online and I did some research you know and I came up with something I'm going to read right now for us to understand what this bill is all about so you know the new social media bill is titled protection from internet falsehood and manipulation bill it brings government into conversations hosted on social media platforms now I have a huge problem with that the government now wants to impose an edit button Political or anti-government speech is expected to be under scrutiny and penalties for breaking the social media law include a fine of up to 300,000 to 10 million naira for corporate and organizations. Now, Senator Elisha Abo is a prominent defender of this bill and he claims he wants to regulate the spread of falsehood. Now, bearing in mind that this senator was the one that was actually caught on camera in Abuja at a sex toy shop harassing a woman. Now he wants to defend the, the social media, whatever. Are you... Anyways, what I feel is that the government now understands the power social media has and they want to interfere. And I feel it's not right. It's I think it's an infringement in some of some sort on our freedom of speech. Now the government gets to decide which of our tweets, our posts is anti-government or political or whatever and which would have to go under scrutiny social media is a very very powerful tool i remember a couple of times i was having issues with my bank and i went to meet them physically in one of their you know banks and they told me i had to wait 15 working days i was so angry because it took my money blah 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 it was a lot it was a huge sum of money and i went on twitter and i ranted and guys immediately <laughs> immediately they responded and the next day i got a credit out of my money so you can see that, that this is how social media works how fast they don't want to spoil their reputation online but when you go and meet them tell me 15 to 21 working days and when i went online the next day the problem was solved so i think in a way i can relate this to government and how they understand that this social media if they want to spoil <laughs> your campaign or something social media is the place to be i don't know what is going through their mind or what this internet falsehood is all about but i feel this bill is not being set up with genuine reasons i don't think it is being set up with genuine. i mean we have a lot of problems in nigeria like we have a lot of issues that need serious attention and you want to pass the social media bill you want to be scrutinizing what someone is tweeting what someone is uploading if it's anti-government or what i don't think this is even a priority at all i also feel like people will not be able to express themselves freely online anymore you know this is a platform where we've we've come around you know to talk about issues that are disturbing the country, issues that are disturbing us, topics that are trending. You know, social media, it's a, it's like a, a platform where people just express themselves. And if we know that the government is watching us, no one's gonna tweet anything anymore. I mean, even if this bill is passed into law, me uploading this video might even be a problem. This might even be anti-government and I might have to go under scrutiny. So nobody knows what this bill is fully talking about. You know, I only know from what I've read online and what you know I saw people tweeting. So I want you if you if you're more if you know what this bill is all about, if you support or you know you don't understand, let me know in the comment section. I had to just create a little buzz or awareness in my own little way so we know that this the government is about to pass this bill into law. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. And yes, I think this is all I have to say on discussions with Shewa today on this new social media bill. Let me know your thoughts once again in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, it's that time that you subscribe to my channel. And yes, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.